Hi, this is Teresa. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm here with my husband, Jeff, and he is going to take the video because he's got much steadier hands than I do. So we're starting off. Um, Jeff, would you go back to the door, please? We're starting off with this door hanger that has um, some extra fabrics that I don't use very much and then some of my Stampin' Up! stamp sets and then a container that has some embellishments in it and some extra packing paper and then most of my punches but these are actually the punches that I don't use a lot and so now we're going to pan around to my storage area right here so on the top we have my primer and my big scoreboard. I bought these bags from Tamu and I love how they expand a lot. I use label tape a lot because I can't remember things. So this helps me to remember where I put things. My copy paper is up here. And then I have these six totes that are setting on a wooden shelf that Jeff made for me. Thank you, Jeff. And each one of these totes is set up with stuff in it. I bought, I buy a lot of acrylic containers to hold things. And so these have fabrics and trims on my washi tape, a um, couple stamp sets that I use a lot, some tins with different things in them. And it does take some um, maneuvering to get this out sometimes but part of it is it does come out easily and part of it is that it will all fit in these totes because when we travel I need as much as possible to fit in these totes. My idea book is back here. This is another sort of idea book. Um, my embossing stuff is right here and everything's labeled because I might forget where I so ingeniously organize things. Here is most of my things that are like a stuff to make ephemera. So there's um, my scraps and um, we've got my dried flowers, embellishments, and then a bits and bobs, my portrait cards or my um, cabinet cards, my um, acetylate, Altered playing cards. This is some pre-made ephemera. These are my wax seals and my stuff for making wax seals. And here are some long containers for things like my master boards, tags, because I have a ton of tags. Vintage paper. This is some more vintage paper. And then this is a basket that I use for creating um, with other papers like digitals that I pulled out, um, vellum, straw paper, that sort of thing. And so on the bottom here, we have um, just some random stuff. Like I bought some new packages of napkins from the dollar store. I, my husband got me these bags from um, Hobby Lobby for to make covers with. This is a great container. First of all, this container here has all my ink refillables. And this container has a bunch of other stuff for making ephemera. So flowers, lace. Um, butterflies, birds, banners, things like that. Die cuts, memories, and more cards, which I use for backing when I remember that I have them. This is my mini embossing machine. This is a altered box that I use to store things like um, Mod Podge and things like that. 
Okay, so I'm going to walk on the other side with Jeff. And then on this side, we have all my inks, markers. Um, I'm putting my spices in here that I'm using for crafting, like cinnamon and... Um, what is the other one that I'm using? Paprika. Paprika. Yeah, thank you. My charms are here. And then just some other random stuff. A lot of my old books and vintage pages are in this one. Along with my punches that I use. This one has another acrylic organizer. So I like these because these slide out. They're real easy to bring out and put on my desk if I want. This has my sewing stuff. This has my uh, um, eyelets and that sort of thing. This has my acrylic blocks and some extra punches. And this has a variety of things in it. Oh, my um, embossing plates. And then I have my label maker my postal scale, my piercing mat, and over there is my um, my paints, my acrylic paints. And then down there is my Cricut. And um, I keep two of those big containers there. There's one there, and then there's two more right there. And they hold things like my 